Hello, you are listening to an archived worship service of First Presbyterian Church, Columbus, Mississippi. Thank you for listening. Uh, Good morning. I am going to tell you a story about a couple of different members that we've had here and of the gifts that they have given to our church that are still, uh, we're still all benefiting from. The first uh, was a couple, Mr. AP and Miss Lucille Miller. And they were such a wonderful couple. They, Mr. A.P. Miller was about 5'5", five five if he was 5'5", five five. and what he didn't have in height he made up in this huge, outgoing, wonderful personality. He and his son had a landscaping business here in Columbus, and they were what Smith's Landscaping is to Columbus now before Allen came to town. <laughs> but anyway, when uh, Miss Lucille, she died first, and then Mr. Miller uh, followed in the late 80s, but they left a living trust called the Miller Trust to uh, to be able to fund our grounds and the maintenance and our beautiful memorial garden. A lot of the money has been used for that, and so they left a perpetual gift of that. Mr. Miller and Ms. Miller loved three things. First of all, it was First Presbyterian Church, and then they loved plants, and also the Mississippi State Bulldogs. I, when I was talking to his granddaughter, uh, Jill Bearfield, I told her I was going to be speaking about them, and she said, oh, he had tickets to every sport, every game, and I think after he was not able to drive anymore, she said that um, Miss Jeannie Hutchinson's lovely, Mr. Wonderful uh, Fountain Hutchinson drove him, so I think they enjoyed many games together. And um, I think, Tom, that Mr. Miller might be in competition with you for (laughs) an equal amount of bulldog love. (laughs) So anyway, they were just joyous people and members of our, our church. The second person is uh, Mr. William Earl Dothro. He was a very gentle soul. Um, He was in the real estate business, and he uh, never married, but um, he was such a generous person. He spent a lot of his time at Palmer Home and also loved First Presbyterian Church. He also loved to garden as well. In fact, my nephew, when he was about five years old, he said, um, I'm going to rena- I'm gonna start calling Mr. William Earl Gardner Earl because he just is in his garden all the time and there wasn't probably a day that didn't go by that he was up here tending to the flowers or thinking of what type of herb garden to add or this or that. So he uh, added so much to our church. He died in 1996, and he left in his will the bulk of his estate, and it went and paid off the mortgage for our church so much earlier than it would have been. So that was a wonderful gift for the congregation to be able to uh, not have the burden of the of the church mortgage. So these are just two stories of people that uh, loved. God and love this church and found a way to not only give of their time and talents while they were here, but also to leave something that has been an ongoing gift. So uh, this is just something to keep in mind uh, as we're talking about this legacy uh, trust fund, uh, trust funds that could be set up for any type of gift. Thank you.